fire here about a year ago. I'm on the top of the building and I'm just panning around to let you see what the damage is like. This used to be a beautiful hall once. The best pants hall in the safe I would say, but just look at it now. Terrible. I suppose it doesn't matter a lot because it'll all be pulled down quickly. This is the courtyard uh, and what I'm filming now is what used to be our ward at the top and H ward at the bottom. Over in the corner there is the beginning of G ward and K ward. I'm standing on the top of the, the old library now and I'm panning around uh, to the kitchen. There's the kitchen. I'll go down to the kitchen in a minute and uh, we'll have a look. This is the G Ward Court and there is K Ward above and G Ward below. Just panning around, looking towards, standing on the roof remember. This was the old bike house. It's on there. Coming up towards This is the kitchen. Not much activity here now. I think it's more or less run down. This is the corridor outside of the kitchen. This is the entrance to the corridor. The corridor now looking down towards Ward. This is the yard outside where the old chimney used to stand. That is the main front of the building there. Hanging around, there is the Gate Porter's Lodge over there. That used to be the old Gate Porter's Lodge. front of the building again. This area is the old um, B ward and C ward. And this is the ancillary block. That used to be the... Oh, no, that used to be the paint shop there. Over there was the carpenter shop, and along here the upholsters. This is the back of um, B and C ward. It's all overgrown now, as you can see. There's the new chimney that was built back in the 60s. 50s, I think. No, 60. Sorry, 60. There's Gary walking down there towards around the back of the uh, B ward. This is the ancillary buildings. That should be all pulled down. 
That used to be the mortuary. There. This is a new chimney stack. Other roads will be coming down. And this is the end of um, B Ward and C Ward. As you go through the tunnel there, uh, the archway rather, you can come out onto the end court. Uh, turning around. A tower, clock tower, well it's not a clock tower, it's a bell tower, that's above the kitchen. And back there used to be the patients' workshops. This is the entrance to F Ward Court and over there is A Ward and D Ward. That is the hall which is now burned out as I filmed previously. That there is the nursing office and there you can see the part of the hall, the roof, which is burned. Turning round now, and we'll just take a walk round into that's F Ward, F Ward Court. That's F Ward and E Ward on the top, up to there, and then. Over there is A Ward and C Ward. This is F Ward Court. This used to be all mown, lovely, just like a cricket pitch this one. Many a time I've been out here walking patients around. Round and round they used to go. There used to be a wall right down there, which is gone now. And uh, patients used to take a run and jump and over the wall they'd go. As quick as that. But now that it's all it's all overgrown and pretty. There used to be a bandstand in the middle there where the patients used to get in the shade, you know, and listen to the music. That's me and house where the adolescent patients used to be. There. Hanging round. That is the park and the hospital houses in the distance. Over here we have the front entrance of the blocks that used to be called in the old days, which was uh, block one, two and three, and uh, TB unit which is on the lower deck there. This building was built in the um, 50s for um, patients that used to make things, you know, um, just an occupational therapy unit really. Um, that over there below is the corridor leading to the blocks here. This is the blocks. And up the top there was block two. Then came block three and block one. There's the old water tank in the distance. This is the road 
leading to the back of the front entrance of the blocks again. This is the front of the blocks, you can see. This will all come down presently. There's the buildings there. This is Mian House, as I said before. This was built back in the 60s by the lesson motion. All this used to be um, vegetable garden once here. I can remember. And an orchard, some of the apple trees and other left. All this brown to the right here used to be vegetables. Mr. Weber used to grow all the vegetables here for the main kitchen, for the patients. And it's incredible to see it like it is. Rows and rows of vegetables here. And right around. This is going around the side of the front entrance towards the OT hut. That over there is uh, Owl Ward. You can see on the top there, that's Owl Ward. To my right is the old famous water tank. I always wanted to walk up there. I got about halfway and got frightened to death when I was a boy and came down again. Be surprised how high that is when you're up there. I've been on the top of this building here. And that, believe me or not, is very high too. That's a box. This is the back end of the blocks looking from the water tank side. It's the corridor down there leading to the to the blocks. Everything's so quiet in there, nobody here at all, like a ghost town. Part of the corridor again. This used to be, this hut here on the right used to be where the, the male staff used to have their lunch. Many times I've walked down here back in the uh, 60s for my dinner break. We have a cooked meal here. Well, it was it was served here, it was cooked in the kitchen of course. That there is uh, Galbraith Ward, um, which used to be years ago the nurses' home, where Phil used to work, I believe, in there. Uh, over there is the female hostel and the male hostel. Now, this road leads you to the blocks and if I pan all the way around quickly it continues down there to the main hall which is there as you can see burned out. If you turn left down there it takes you to the, the blocks. female hostel again. And coming over here we've got 
H Ward Court. It's H Ward Court. And there in the bottom is H Ward with our ward above. Looking in front of me now is the lower deck is Titchfield and the top is Meanstoke or M Ward that it used to be. I'll just walk if I can walk forward and take you into the court. Or what remains of it, if I put it that way. There's the courtyard. Panning around there now is that ward there, Gary, is what? The in front of me. Bottom there, isn't it? Huh? This bottom? Bottom ward? This no, is the old Heath. G ward. Locks Heath. Oh, Locks yeah. Heath, sorry. Our ward and H ward, sorry. Uh, that's right. Our ward's on the top, H ward at the bottom. Again. And over there, straight through there, you can see the cricket pitch. Through there is the cricket pitch. We'll film that later. The Titchfield Ward at the bottom. That's where Joe used to nurse these uh, TB patients there in that building there. That was all glass, was to Liz, I believe. That's where she used to nurse all the TB patients, I believe, years ago. Galbraith Ward again. From this angle. With the water tower behind it. There's a hall again, looking from our ward court. And if I pan around here, you can see the old courtyard. K ward and G ward. G ward's the lower one. This used to be the hospital garden. And what remains of it now you can see. Where Mr. Weber used to work. A corridor from the wards there, look. And this is the corridor, this is the road that takes you out to the front of the building. Over there used to be the butcher's shop. And that's the admin building there. Everything else is blocked off. one used to take you to M Ward and Fisher Ward. Go around now to the main kitchen.
this is a center for all the admin stuff. Now this is Ferrum Ward and this is where my father worked, was in charge of when he worked here. Now I'm just going to walk down the ward. This is the day room here. You can't see much of it because all the furniture is gone. I'm just going to walk down here, give you an idea how big the ward was. Um, there's a dormitory on the right, one of the dormitory, and one on the left. So we're going down. Yeah. Oh, that's better. That's the toilet area. And all these rooms here in the old days were uh, pads. Or padded cells, of course, now they're turned into little um, bedrooms, you know, cubicles. But they were in the old days, they were all padded cells. There's another day room on the right. Going on down. Got all the padded cells, which are no bedrooms on the right of me here. Now we're going down into the kitchen area. This is where the kitchen, this is where they fed all the patients here in this particular dining area here kitchen was over here, that was the kitchen, and there is the door to let you out, if you could get out that is. That's Gary out there doing some photography. Now we're in A Ward, and just uh, there's a party going on down there now to celebrate uh, all the uh, the closing of the hospital with all the old workers, people that have worked here over the years, are having a farewell celebration. This is the um, the dining room of uh, Alvestow Ward. Take you on down. That's the toilet area of I Ward. The backs as we used to call them. toward the main building. Uh, swing around and there is the, the cenotaph and the road leading to the church. Looking across there is what is now Crowland House. 
used to be Dr. Jackson's residence, the, uh, the superintendent of the hospital way back in the, uh, the 30s. Coming on round, and here's the old famous church where I was christened, and Lionel was christened, and uh, we were members of the choir here during the war. Looking down, and that is the road that leads round to the cricket field. Here's the church viewed from the corner of the road now, uh, turning around. Garages next to the church, and looking out now toward the cricket field. All the horse chestnut trees are in bloom now, are coming out of, into bloom. And there, cricket field. Right, it's not much of a pitch neck, it's all everything derelict, but becoming derelict. That's a road along the wall from the church around the cricket field, panning across now to the cricket field. And over there we can see the old cricket pavilion, which was burned down once. There used to be a thatched roof on there. But you see. There we are. The other side of that is the football pitch, but this cricket field actually was built on a rubbish dump when it was uh, laid. That's why it's so dry. In the middle of the winter it's always a dry pitch. In the far distance is Ravenswood House, which is uh, being built up twice the, twice the size of it used to be. And Hanging on round there, it's a road towards the cricket field, um, sorry, the road towards Ravenswood. And on my left there are the staff houses, or two of the staff houses. And then coming straight on round, of course, you come on round and there's the church. Okay. I'm uh, filming now from the other side of the pitch by the pavilion and uh, I'll just pan round to uh, the edge of the cricket pitch to Ravenswood House which is there in the distance. All round this pitch years ago years ago were elm trees and of course they were they were cut down when the Dutch elm disease came about I think it must have been I don't know really now about the 50s I think there are the two staff houses again there and padding around the church over in the corner and the beginning of the that's I ward and M ward there. And looking down here, we have, are looking rather towards what used to be the nurse's home. This is a view from uh, Chalky Walk, looking down toward Ravenswood as the uh, as boundary walk, looking down towards there, and uh, there's the cricket field again, coming around, and 
there is the um, star flats there and female hostel that house there is the tours that belong to uh, or shall I say Dr. Shepherd, I believe lived there was when Phil my sister used to work there as a maid back in the 20s and over there is the famous water tower and the blocks swinging round we have the wall leading to the staff cottages and that house there was where I was born right in there that house on the right hand side five Dean Villas swinging round the firs and fondly the other side this this is part of the boundary walk and behind these trees here is Chalky Walk leading to Fontley. Now this hedgerow that goes up there comes out at um, the road leading to Ferrum uh, just before we get to North Hill and that I believe is where the new road is coming through from there to join the village of Knoll. Looking across there is um, Tom Parker's farm and the old vine further over. That's Ferrum Road. That is um, Tom Parker's farm over in the distance and uh, the other alternative to the road is uh, through there cutting that farm in half and uh, coming along adjacent to these Swansdale woods across there and up through there's the footpath leading to or what's left of the footpath leading to the woods and coming up here. Now this is uh, part of Ravenswood again. That's the other alternative, but I think it would be the first one that I mentioned where it'll happen. Here's the tours again, and uh, the house where Phil worked. I said the 20s before, but I meant the late 30s when Dr. Shepherd lived here. Old derelict. I can remember when all this was a nice garden and used to be tended to by patients. I'm standing on top of the um, Tors fire escape now, looking across towards the boundary and where I think the road's going to come in from Ferrum uh, near North Hill. There we are again is Tom Parker's farm and the, the other alternative route in that direction over by the woods there. That's the football pitch there where they say they're going to build houses and coming across to my left there is the beginning of Ravenswood House and coming around here is the male hostel that, that I believe is going to come down. There's a road coming around the cottages 
to the tours and these cottages here I believe are going to be pulled down because they say they're subsiding whether they're not I don't know this is a famous wall um, bordering the hospital from the uh, staff cottages and you see it's all blocked off now you can't get up there um, and this is a road leading to the cottages that I just filmed there. Panning around, there are the blocks over there, one, two and three, in the distance of the clubhouse in the foreground. There's the famous water tower, the one that I got halfway up and uh, got too scared to go to the top. That's a hell of a height. Don't realise that to get up there. These, all this here used to be part of, all this ground here was gardens. Part of these cottages here to my right. The ones that I think are going to be pulled down. There. There's the house where I was born, right there. And swinging round, I'm filming this actually from the end of the wall. Uh, there's the estate. There. And up to the wall into it. There's the wall again, looking from the other end. Many times I've climbed up on that wall when I was a boy, pinching pears and thumbs. There's the garden the other side. That Mr. Weber used to tend. Filming now from the uh, star cottages. And that's the road leaving down past the wall to the, um, to the cottages at the end of the road and this is the park hill leading to the main road. Panning to my right now is um, park cottages where I used to live for six years, number six. Let's go and have a look. This is um, park cottages. Uh, I used to live in uh, this one here on the left and uh, this is where Gary spent his first three or four years of life here. Mind you it's all different now, it's all changed. That place there used to be the communal wash and bathroom there where if one wanted a bath um, there were six cottages here then if one wanted a bath or um, wash their clothes, they'd go in there to do it. It's a bit cold on the winter night, I can tell you. And that bit down there was the sheds. So it's all changed now. That is um, Dean Villas. And looking down towards my left now is um, Cotsam Cottages. Down there to the left is a park hill. This is uh, Five Dean Villas, where I was born. There. Changed a hell of a lot, hasn't it? That wasn't there for a start. But Mr. Weber used to live next door there. And that was the boundary walk. We used to go all up round there to the chestnut trees. And that place outside that car there was the air raid shelter that was used during the war, called aptly Hell's Corner. Because every time uh, the workmen worked on it to build it, there was always an air raid. So they called it Hell's Corner. Still there now.
This is looking down the road to uh, Dean Villas on the left, Topsham on the right. Mr. Weber used to live here, the head gardener. again, lovely garden, filming into the sun, so whether it'll come out, I don't know. I'm filming now from the, uh, the steps where the old iron bridge is, looking down the firs and across the meadow to where our old house used to be, five Dean Villas over there. This is the back view of it. Beautiful house now. I would think it's worth a lot of money. And there it is. And coming down, Dean Villas. There we go. Those two houses there were built comparatively recent. Because when I was a boy there used to be two oak trees in this piece, just where that tree is there. And um, all this ground around here used to be uh, like a playground, short grass meadow. We used to come out here and play football many a time. And uh, we just come up this path from the shop and walk across this meadow to our house over there, a shortcut. Because it's all fenced in then, you, there were cows out here in this meadow. This is uh, the old iron bridge. There was a path here, a lovely path here. And I was a lad, just go straight across that bridge. But now it looks as though nobody uses it at all, so grown in. There's the bridge again. And I'm going to take a walk over if I can without being too shaky. There's Glenn up there looking at the railway line, waiting for the train to come. And uh, when I get in the middle, I'll see if I can look down towards what used to be the Knoll Halt over here. There we go. There's the other bridge down there, what we used to call Howlings, near Howlings House, or Bungalow on the corner. And there's the other bridge there. Go. Beyond that is um, the Knoll Halt, closed down there, of course. This is the um, continuation of the railway line going towards Ferrum, Fontley and Ferrum. This is the, um, the road coming from the waterworks up past Corley's shop that used to be there. Of course, the two, two houses there now. And round the corner towards the bridge at the far end. That bungalow down there used to belong to the um, chief engineer, Mr. Howling. We'll go up there presently. There's the road um, opposite the road opposite Corley's shop, and uh, that tree there is my favourite tree. And as much that I always used to, as a boy, climb the top of that tree and uh,
think you'll find that um, there are you'll still find my initials on the top of that tree I expect as he went up there and I think it's a sort of a French acorn I don't know on my right houses I think they're going to be pulled down. There we go. Those houses will come down eventually because they say they're um, subsiding. There's a tree again. Closer up. Many, many times I've I played on that old tree. I hope they don't cut it down. I really do. It's a lovely old tree. It must be, well, older than I am. So this is the end of the, um, the bridge at Howlings. The, um, the lodge, rather. And there used to be steps when I was a boy. I used to go up there to those park cottages that we filmed previously. And coming around here, they built some more steps there, but of course they've all been pulled down all over ground now. Coming round, there's a road leading to Norwood again. That's a view of the road coming across the bridge. There comes a car as usual because I'm filming. And that is the um, road up to the staff cottages. There's a road coming up towards the conquer trees. And that road there takes you out to the gardens, the back of the gardens, uh, back of the blocks. And this road here is the famous Horse Chestnut Avenue. I hope they don't cut these trees down. It's a shame if they do. When they come out in full bloom, that's beautiful up through there. And that road there, of course, takes you down to the farm. Or what's left of it. That's the road leading up to the hospital. And there is where the mortuary used to be. And swinging round, this is the old shrubs here. And there's the road continuing up towards the, uh, the main gate. On my left here is an um, industrial um, estate now, which used to be part of the farm. And here, down through here, used to be the beginning of the path that used to lead you to the, uh, the railway halt, down through there. All brown in now, of course. Watery, and uh, this is a road leading up to the main hospital gates. Right in front of us, there is uh, you can hear the train going past them in now. One time, I used to stop at the halt. Way in front, there is uh, the, um, the laundry court, and of course church on the left. This ground here was all cultivated when I was a boy. Flowers and shrubs and uh, that place there is the ambulance training centre which used to be the uh, staff tennis courts years ago. That building there is the uh, powerhouse, or used to be the powerhouse, and uh, over there is um, D Ward, and there again is the gate porter's lodge where we used to go and hand the keys in and get our keys before we went to work. There, and of course, most famous of them all. The admin building, which is, I think, is going to remain. That bell tower there, 
during the war, believe it or not, the home guard put a machine gun up there. God knows what they were going to do with it. But that's where a machine gun was mounted during the war by the home guard. <laughs> There's the front of the building. And swing round Church Road again. All quiet now. Another shot of the front of the building. Swing around. Church. And that's the road to Wickham. Over there is the um, nurse training centre. And that is one of the houses as you go down towards the farm. This is the ambulance training centre again. This is a cenotaph of all those members of the staff that were killed during the First World War. And to my left here is the road leading to the church. And this time I've walked down to patients down here to uh, church on a Sunday morning. It was not a question of going to church, it was you, 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 you and you sort of thing. Church parade. Swing around to my left. There's the road that goes down to the farm. Well, that concludes our little tour of this date. We've started off from here and uh, we've gone all the way around the cricket field, um, around the tours, around the uh, hospital estate, staff houses, across the little railway bridge and back up the main road round to the front of the hospital again. So there we are, that's the last, I suppose we'll seal it like it is.